Oh, hi guys. It's another uh, beautiful sunny day today. This weather has been fantastic. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I hope it continues. Another beautiful blue sky, no clouds. Unbelievably rare this time of year. You know, I wanted to uh, talk in this video about what I call fake people. Because not only do I see it in person, but I see it a lot online. Probably even more so online. And uh, I'll give you an example. I watch uh, Girl in the Woods, her channel on YouTube. Brooke Whipple is a fantastic woman. She is one of a kind. That is a woman that is not afraid to do anything. She is absolutely fearless. She's got all kinds of skills. She knows how to build her own cabin. She knows how to get fires going. She knows survival skills. She was on the show alone and won. I forget which season it was she won. Uh, her and her husband, uh, Dave. And uh, she is really, truly um, every outdoorsman's dream woman, really, for a woman that knows how to do stuff. And there is absolutely nothing fake about that woman. I'll tell you, she's got skills and... Uh, she doesn't base her life on fashion or impressing people. She's just real, you know, just real, down to earth, very personable, you know, very likable, always upbeat, cheerful, and positive, and just, just, I can't say enough good things about her. She's just awesome, just an awesome woman. And the odds of finding a woman like that is rare in this world, and just, it's crazy. But uh, anyway, you know, when you go out in public, it can be the same way. You know, you can hang out at those places where the fake people are, just like the ones on YouTube where there's women that are the opposite of Brooke Whipple to where they will have a thumbnail. They always use that luring thumbnail where they're half naked and it shows them doing some exotic pose. And you know if you click on that video, it's going to just be nonsense because that thumbnail is the only way that they can draw a crowd, the only way that they can draw views, the only way they can get subscriptions is through this fake imagery and fake lifestyle and just everything about them is just nothing but deception and fake. And uh, I can't stand deception. Um, that's what the devil is all about is deception. I like it when people are real. So out in society, you know, uh, the same thing holds true to where like you could hang out at Starbucks and then that's where you find a lot of those fake people to where they have the latest, greatest fashion because they're copiers. They have to copy how uh, the trends. They have to copy the trends and they always have to be trendy and they always have to be in the now. And these are the type of people that will wear like scarves around their neck and they spend a lot of money on their hair and their nails. And, and the guys are the same way to where they'll spend all their money on fashion and teeth whitener and all this bullshit. You know, these are the fake people, what I call the Ken and Barbie doll society. I don't care for people like that. And I definitely would not want to be a part of their crowd. You know, it's where you got to have the, uh, the, the, the most expensive jeans, the best of footwear. You got to have the best coat and you just got to have this look and maintain it all the time. So you can draw more fake friends like yourself. You see, that's how it works. Myself, I'd rather hang out at a place like, oh, I don't know, the Salvation Army where I'm going through a rack of used coats that have a couple stains on them and then there's a woman that isn't bad looking at, over in the next aisle doing the same thing looking at women's coats and then you strike up a conversation with her because she's realistic. That's a woman that's not afraid to go hit a yard sale. That's a woman that's not afraid to catch a trout and maybe gut the trout. Uh, that's a woman that would be real like Brooke Whipple because Brooke Whipple does the same damn thing to where she'll get secondhand something and repurpose it. That's my kind of woman. One that isn't afraid of something that is slightly used. Or, uh, you know, because the fake people, God forbid, if you have to wear a used jacket, my God. I'm not going to show up at Starbucks wearing a used coat. Are you kidding me? Nor would I be seen buying a a coat from a used place like that because what if my fake friends from Starbucks sees my vehicle sitting out in front of the Salvation Army, you know? I mean, holy shit, I might lose that friend. So that's why I don't hang out with people like that, you know, and go to places where everybody is uh, part of the in crowd, you know, and all that stuff. Because you know what? Look, if you're a person that fakes things in your life, sooner or later, those fake friends that you draw that are just as fake as yourself, 
are going to figure out that you're fake and they're going to dislike you as much as they dislike themselves and that friendship's not going to last long and then they're going to move on to the next fake friend and it's all going to start all over again. Whereas if you have a real friend where you actually have things in common with them or in a relationship, it's the same way to where you, you have something in common with them and you like similar things, it's not going to end because it was a front. It's going to continue because it's a lifestyle. You see, it's not, it's not just a trend. You're doing it because you want to do that kind of stuff because that's what you're into. That's where your passion lies. So uh, that's why I don't go around the people that are fake. You know, it's just like when I've hiked with people. You can hike with people and tell if they've really ever hiked in their lifetime or if they're just doing it because it's for the sake of exercise or if they really like the, the outdoors at all. You know, it's like uh, I've hiked with people like that and they're people I wouldn't care to ever hike with again. You know, it's like, where are all the real people? It used to, it used to be so common to uh, meet real people and, and find them, you know, because they were, they were abundant, they were everywhere. But now today, um, people have been shaped by the internet and society to where people have altered themselves to where they have to be a certain way and that way only. And, uh, and it doesn't work. It just, it just leads to a life of unhappiness because living a fake life is not fulfilling whatsoever. Because you're always having to maintain something that isn't real and that in itself takes a lot of work. It takes more work to live as a, as a fake person than it does as a real person because when it's real and it's natural, it, there's basically no work involved. You're just being yourself. And, and that's what I am, you know. I, you guys have watched me long enough and seen my videos to know to where I don't fake anything and I speak my mind. Even though I've had people say, well, Kev, because you talk about this and you, you, you've used foul language and stuff like that, that's really going to hurt your image. This is going to hurt this. It's going to hurt that. You know what? I don't care because I, I, don't, I don't base it on that stuff. I do what I do because it's real. It's being me and I'm not, I'm not trying to be somebody or something that I'm not. And uh, so... Oh, boy, is he getting muddy. Buddy's having fun. That's all that matters. You know. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be around people that are, you know, because if I, if I met a woman at Starbucks and she has to get her expensive latte from there every freaking morning because she's too good to brew it at home, could ever drink Folgers off the shelf, my God, God forbid for that, and uh, just always has to go to Starbucks for that free Wi-Fi and for that hot drink, and then, uh, you know, check in on social media and scroll on the phone. And that's the kind of lifestyle that person wants. That person's not for me. No, I'd rather spend time, like, with a woman like Brooke Whipple and be out in the woods and, uh, you know, getting a fire going with a ferro rod and, and uh, just doing different things. So, anyway, that's what, uh, that's just how I see it, you guys. Look at the rut damage here from one of those bucks. Come on, Gizmo. All kinds of rut damage up in here. And then uh, come March and April, I'll be looking for sheds again. I'll be looking for antlers. Last year, I only found one side of a four point, And um, this year, I'm hoping I can find either a set uh, of a nice rack um, or whatever. Um, but at least it's, it's something new that I've been doing now. I started last year that I can do just as another hobby for just something to do, you know. And, and to tell you guys the truth, that's, that's why I haven't really met anybody is because the real people, I don't know where they went. Because real people would be in the woods. Um, you would run across women on the trail hiking, uh, you know. And, and you would find women camping and stuff like that. I don't know where the real people went, but uh, you sure as hell aren't going to find the fake people there, and I'm glad of that because those are the types that I would never want. And um, Gizmo, come on. Come on, Gizmo. And a real person doesn't need electricity while camping. They don't, they don't need an outhouse. They don't need hot running water. You know, they know how to get by the pioneer way. And a, a real person like that would actually prefer it. That's, that's what a real person would prefer is doing stuff the hard way, doing it the old-fashioned way, doing it the dirty way, you know. If you got to sit around a bonfire and do your nails, then uh, you're not camping with me. Uh, just, that's just the way it is. So that was the one thing that I really liked about Kathy when I dated her way back in the 80s is she was a girl that had a farm and horses and 
and uh, she would put on barn boots and she would go out in like her pajamas with barn boots on and she didn't care about making no fashion statement. She wasn't afraid to get dirt under her fingernails. She wasn't afraid to do a dirty job and stuff like that. That's the one thing I can say about her that was great. So, but yeah, you can spot them. You guys know the fake people that are out there. You can spot them a mile away by the vehicles they drive, the clothes they wear, the places they hang out, the, the drinks they drink, the types of food they eat, you know, the prissy, the pampered, the fake. I don't really care for those kinds of people. I don't I sure as hell ain't gonna hang out with them. So anyway, it's a beautiful day. I think maybe today I'm gonna go and drill out some more fat wood and see if I can fill a coffee can with the shavings and the dust because uh, I wanna stock up on it so I have a lot of it this coming year and, uh, and get some fires going. Um, maybe I gotta, I know I've said it, I gotta get a fire going for tonight. I don't know what the temp is supposed to be, but I, I gotta round up some firewood. I'd have to get out my wheelbarrow, come out here to the woods, saw up some firewood, harvest some for my fire, and then uh, get it going with a ferro rod. And um, maybe have some, I got hot chocolate. I'm gonna have some hot chocolate around the fire and maybe do a video, you guys. So I'll be using my fire pit a lot this year. So anyway, it's just a beautiful day. Beautiful day to be out walking gizmo. No clouds in the sky, so really, really nice, really, really nice. No snow, that's what I'm loving. No snow, just grass, loving it. Also makes it a lot easier on the wildlife. You guys see Casey, he's gonna join us. He's gonna join Gizmo and I for a walk. Casey Case, what's doing buddy? There him is. There's Kaser. What you doing, buddy? Collecting ticks? Is that what you're doing? Huh? Is that what you're doing, buddy? There him is. Here, my good buddy. Yeah, I feel like you got a tick on your neck. Come on, we gotta go home, Daddy. will get that off. Come on. Come on, Case. Let's go. Lead the way, Gizmo. Come on, Kaser. Come on, Case. Come on, Casey. Here he comes. Dump, da dump, da dump, da dump. Come on, let's go home. Daddy will check you for ticks. Oh. Ticks have been really bad this year. Hi, right, Gizmo. You all dirty? Did you get all muddy? Did you get all muddy? Yes, you got all muddy, huh? You all muddy too, Casey? Huh? You all muddy too, are you? You're my good boy. Come on. Let's go home. Let's go home. Come on, Case. Let's go, buddy. Come on, Case. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.